If you start your day with a bowl of cereal, a glass of orange juice, or even just toast with jam, chances are you're setting yourself up for brain fog by 10 a.m. And it's not your fault. Most breakfast foods are designed to spike your blood sugar, flood your brain with dopamine, and then leave you crashing just when you need focus the most. In fact, studies show that high glycemic breakfasts can reduce memory and concentration by over 30% within hours. Imagine trying to study, work, or think creatively when your brain is literally running out of fuel. The truth is, it's not about skipping breakfast, it's about how you eat it. And if you're eating it the wrong way, you're silently sabotaging your productivity every single morning. Most people don't realize this, but your very first meal of the day decides how sharp or how foggy your brain will be for the next several hours. Breakfast isn't just food, it's the chemical signal you send to your brain about how it should operate. A bowl of cereal, toast with jam, or even orange juice might look harmless, but the science is clear. Those choices can tank your focus before you even log into work or open your books. On the other hand, the right breakfast can literally switch on mental clarity, stabilize your mood, and keep your energy steady. That's why this video isn't just about what you eat, it's about how you can hack your brain's morning chemistry to stop sabotaging your productivity. Most people think focus comes from willpower, but it actually comes from chemistry. When you wake up, your body's in a natural fasted state. Your brain's running almost entirely on glucose and cortisol, which is why your first meal acts like a chemical switch. A high sugar breakfast, like cereal, pancakes, or even a banana with coffee, causes a rapid spike in blood sugar. Your brain releases dopamine, you feel that short burst of energy, but within 60 to 90 minutes, insulin kicks in, and blood sugar crashes. That's when you feel lazy, unmotivated, or foggy. It's not mental weakness, it's biology. Now, compare that to someone who eats a protein-rich, low-glycemic breakfast, like eggs, Greek yogurt, or oats with nuts. Their blood sugar rises slowly, energy stays consistent, and the brain gets a steady flow of fuel. This stabilizes neurotransmitters like acetylcholine and norepinephrine, the chemicals responsible for alertness and memory. In simple terms, your focus doesn't vanish randomly. You lose it because your breakfast triggered a biochemical roller coaster. If you want deep work, creativity, or long attention spans, it starts with what's on your plate before 9 a.m. You know what's crazy? The average healthy breakfast has more sugar than a dessert. That bowl of cereal and orange juice combo can contain over 40 grams of sugar. That's basically drinking a can of Coke before 9 a.m. When you what's the fix? It's not about quitting sugar completely, it's about removing sugar bombs from your morning. Swap cereal and juice for slow carbs like oats, protein, and healthy fats. You'll notice within days, your focus lasts longer and your brain doesn't feel like it's glitching by noon. Here's where most people mess up. They grab a coffee and maybe a slice of toast, thinking, I'm not that hungry in the morning. But here's what science says. Skipping protein in your first meal not only makes you hungrier later, it actually disrupts your neurotransmitters, the brain chemicals responsible for focus, motivation, and energy. Protein gives your brain amino acids like tyrosine and tryptophan, the building blocks for dopamine and serotonin. Without those, your brain starts the day running on fumes. That's why you can feel anxious, foggy, or unfocused before lunch, even if you've had caffeine. A 2018 study from the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition found that people who ate a high-protein breakfast, 25 to 30 grams, had better memory recall, fewer cravings, and more consistent energy than those who didn't. Translation, two eggs or a scoop of whey protein can literally rewire your how your brain performs for the day. The fix is simple. Aim for 20 to 30 grams of protein within your first hour of waking up. Greek yogurt, eggs, cottage cheese, or a smoothie with protein, banana, and peanut butter it doesn't have to be complicated, but if your breakfast is all carbs and caffeine, you're training your brain to crave instant rewards and lose long-term focus. Here's the thing, when you start your morning with a plate full of refined carbs, pancakes, white toast, cereal, or a couple of croissants, you're basically giving your brain a quick sugar rush, followed by a crash that makes you want another coffee by 10 a.m. Your blood sugar spikes fast, insulin shoots up to control it, and then boom, your energy plummets. That's why you suddenly feel foggy, lazy, or even weirdly anxious halfway through the morning. It's not that you're tired, it's your breakfast turning on you. Refined carbs digest fast, which means they don't keep you full or focused. It's like trying to run a car on lighter fluid. It burns hot for a second, then dies out. Instead, go for complex carbs that digest slowly. Oats, whole grains, fruits with skin, or even some veggies. These keep your blood sugar stable and your brain sharp for hours. Here's the golden rule. Never eat carbs alone. Always pair them with protein or healthy fats. 
like oats with Greek yogurt or whole grain toast with eggs and avocado. That combo keeps your energy steady and your mind locked in all morning. So what does the perfect breakfast actually look like if you want laser focus all morning? Science says it's about three things, protein, healthy fats, and fiber. Start with protein, at least 25 to 30 grams. That's what stabilizes your dopamine and keeps your energy consistent. Here's what a balanced plate could look like. Scrambled eggs with spinach and avocado toast, Greek yogurt with chia seeds and berries, or even a simple smoothie with protein powder, banana, and peanut butter. Every combo does one thing. It prevents that 10 a.m. ash. Because when your blood sugar stays stable, your brain stays online, focused, alert, and calm. This isn't about dieting. It's about neurochemistry, teaching your body to fuel your brain the right way so you can actually perform. Most people think intermittent fasting is just another fitness trend. But scientifically, it's more like a mental upgrade button. When you delay breakfast for a few hours, say you eat your first meal around noon, you're giving your brain time to run on its backup fuel, ketones. These aren't just an alternative energy source. Ketones actually sharpen focus, boost alertness, and improve memory retention. When you eat too early, especially a heavier, sugary meal, your insulin spikes, your blood sugar drops, and your brain goes into nap mode. But during fasting, that doesn't happen. Your body keeps energy stable, and your brain stays razor sharp. That's why some of the most productive people, writers, CEOs, and even scientists swear by it. The trick isn't starving yourself, it's giving your body time to reset before you fuel it right. Even a simple 12 or 14 hour overnight fast can clear your mind and stabilize your energy way better than any coffee ever could. You've probably realized something by now. Focus isn't about motivation, it's about chemistry. Every time you eat breakfast, you're literally programming your brain for how the day will feel. If you keep starting with sugar, you'll keep chasing dopamine highs and crashing into brain fog. But if you fuel your brain with protein, healthy fats, and slow carbs, you'll notice something wild. You won't need caffeine to feel awake, you won't crave snacks every two hours, and your thoughts will actually feel clear. It's not about eating less, it's about eating smarter. You'll go from fighting your brain every morning to working with it. Because when your breakfast stops draining your energy, your mind finally starts working for you, not against you. If this video helped you rethink how you start your mornings, take five seconds and hit subscribe. Not for the algorithm, but for yourself. Because this channel isn't about random motivation, it's about understanding how your mind actually works and using that to level up your focus, habits, and life. And if you wanna go deeper into rewiring your brain for productivity, watch this next video. It'll change the way you think about procrastination forever.